15 seconds of the game the other night, you were all over the floor. Talk about just the sequence of events from your perspective. Uh, it was just weird. Uh, I was just seeing, you know, there was just a lot going on. I just tried to make sure that we didn't give up any twos or anything, any easy buckets. And so, yeah, the whole team just pretty much went back and yeah, ended up on top. How, uh, how many times have you seen the replay if you get into the corner to defend the Mills three? Uh, seen it. That'll probably be the third time in video today. Um, yeah. Impressed, impressed by your own foot speed? Oh, uh, sure. I'll, yeah, I was surprised at how far I was. I didn't actually, in the game, I just didn't even, even realize. I was just, yeah, just adrenaline pumping, really. So I surprised myself. Were you surprised how strong the lady was? I'm only back. How good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> they got some passionate fans, man. Yeah, it's awesome. They got, yeah, their fans are good. Did, did yeah. you feel like she was trying to hold you back or she was trying to get out? I don't know, man, because like once I landed in the crowd, it was, um, it was just like, I just seen a bunch of lads and they were just like, you know, they were drunk and being passionate fans. And yeah, and I just thought it was one of them. So that's why I got a bit mad. I thought it was one of the lads grabbing me, but I don't know. Who knows, man? We'll see how it goes. So what did you think when you turned around and saw who it was? I didn't see who it was. Oh, you didn't see him? No, I was just like looking to see if we won. And like to come back into the game. And I just felt um, an arm grabbed me. So yeah, just pulled it away. And the ball's sitting there on the ground underneath the basket. Did it feel like an eternity that the thing was being kicked around under there with I Aldridge or? I don't know what happened. I just <laughs> seen like a pile of bodies on the ground and yeah, we ended up winning. So I was happy. You said the difference in game two defensively was that you guys actually tried. Do you have any concerns about your effort in game three given the consistency of this year? Yeah, it's more just our focus, man. Uh, that's what I mean. I was in a weird mood. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it was just um, it was just our focus getting into it, man. Just um, understanding what we have to do, really, and we all came together as a group and understood that. And, yeah, pretty much whatever. Do you think you guys will do anything different defensively against the Mark? Um. Not sure, man. We'll just wait and see. Game three, how it, how, how it turns out. See what coach says. <laughs> uh, he's obviously a difficult matchup for you guys. I mean, just talk about how the difficult because you and Serge both spent time on him, but you really didn't double him. Nah, because um, we we're making him take the shots that we want, and he's just making them, and that's that's the only thing that's uh, kind of bumming us out right now. Um, so yeah, we'll just we'll just wait and see. Make any adjustments or anything? We haven't said anything. You faced him before in the past. Is he just at a different level right now? Yeah, mate, he's just. I mean, he takes. He, we made him take the um, similar shots, and right now he's just making all of them, and it's yeah, it sucks. <laughs> you, you doubled a little bit though in the second half when you plays, and it actually you know turned into a park and missed three. That kind of you expect to, to double selectively? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't rule it out. That was more of just a spare of the moment thing. I was like, I'll make this guy like kind of think think twice, and it, yeah, it just turned out well. So yeah, we'll just we'll just see how it plays out, man. That, that lob dunk is going to come back for y'all a little bit in, in game two. I mean, what's different for this series than the average series where the lob dunk, the dunk isn't played in? Uh, yeah, I mean, we only got it once. And those, those are just like, it was, it's just like how the defense plays, man. Uh, we just try to pick up on their mistakes, and Russell does a great job of just identifying it. And that's, that's what that is, man. Yeah. They, do a good, they, they, they do a good job of taking out most of our stuff, but yeah, Russ just knows how to like tear up, tear up, tear up their, uh, their defense. So that's how I get my every day, leading up the game three. Okay. And um, we got to, we, we know it's important to take care of home court advantage, man. And, uh, you know, we just got to come in with a mindset of just trying to win and compete, you know, play hard as possible, and also play smart. What was your approach during the minutes that you were guarding Leonard? It seemed like you and and Andre both had some success, at least limiting him in some yeah, ways. I mean, I always tell you, like, I just look forward to them type of matchups. And, uh, Higher stage right now, why not? Just you know, go out there and you know, try to make it tough on. And, um, just make it hard as possible. And uh, that's all I try to do. And uh, just try to play, you know, smart, smart basketball, especially defensively against a guy like that. Uh, he's gonna make you work, but at the end of the day, you look forward to some type of matchups. Don't you have to have that kind of attitude facing a guy like that? You gotta want to have that attitude imperative. If you're gonna be in the NBA, going against anybody, you gotta have that type of attitude. Uh, that's what it's about, manning up and you know, locking the guy up. That's what it's about. Dion, how many texts and phone calls did you get after that crazy finish? Uh, a lot, you know, but um, I'm not worrying about it, you know. You got the win, that's all I care about. I don't care about nothing else. Uh, you know, it came down to the last play, and we came up, we came up.
bit and got stopped when we needed to. You we prepared to have an NBA rule named after you? The officials came out and now they're going to put you in the textbook, the training committee. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You know, I don't really look into all that stuff online and things like that. I'm telling the truth. So, you know, it is what it is, man. And, um, you know, in a game like that, that's not my job. It's an officiating job. You know, I only can control what I can control. And I had to make a play. And a lot of different emotions leading up to it. And you really don't know. We're going into it like the last couple of seconds, like it was, and you know, having time off. Man. A lot of things happen, man. And we got to win. That's all I care about. Andre, Andre was doing a pretty good job with the Kawhi Leonard. And then Billy goes to do that last six minutes or something. What do you think that says about Billy's trust? All right, they trust me. Once you get, you know, the coach trust, you know, nothing more really matters. You go out there, you go, you're able to play. And, uh, just go with that, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta have trust. Have trust in yourself. And um, no one coach got trust in you, it makes it easier. And uh, you know, you want to make it? I just try to do my job, man. Do whatever it takes for this team to get a win. That's, uh, that's all I try to do. There was a lot of focus on the other parts of possession, but what'd you think of Steven's defense on that final sequence? Man, that was a hell of a job, man. You know, he covered the whole half of the court. Got back, was able to get all the way in the paint and get back out to test the shot. That was a hell of a job, man. And, uh, that's what it takes to win, especially in a hostile environment like that. And uh, so many different emotions going into it in the last 13 seconds. For him to just be everywhere was huge for us. And uh, we don't take none of that for granted, man. We appreciate everything everybody does for this team. Like I said, that was a hell of a win. And we needed it, so. Is it refreshing to know that the NBA came out and admit if there were several missed calls on that sequence of plays against them, not just the fact that you are uh, off on the yeah, I mean, that's all it's about, just being fair, just going back, listening to everything that happened. Like I said, in the last 13 seconds, so many different things happened that nobody really seen. And, you know, of course they're going to see that one particular play. But you can't control them type of things. At the end of the day, they went back, they watched it, and they made some corrections. And most important, we got the win, so it don't, it don't even really matter. I'm just looking forward to game three. The officials say they ne they've never seen a play like that. Have you ever, I mean, are you just counting off in your head, and, you know, you got to get that ball in bounds? Basically. Yeah, crowd in by any means, I got to get this ball in bounds. We have no timeouts, and uh, everything was going on. I seen Kevin in the middle, he's 6'11", then he ran, what, 6'5". I like my chances with Kev, <laughs> so, you know, I threw it up there, whatever. Green made a good play. We just made a hell of a play getting back. And uh, there was, was a lot going on in that sequence, man. But it was fun.